guys and welcome back for another video today we are doing the setup of my new wallet uh previously i was using if you've seen my other setup this this is a pocket by the leather quill shop this was the mother's day special edition uh, and first i just want to show you this is like super cool i'll try to insert a picture of what this looked like before if i can find one I'm pretty sure I took one because I was so excited when I got it. But I got this, hmm, around Mother's Day, obviously, of this pat this year. And it was this color on the outside with a little bit of this gold. Color. And now it's like this beautiful, bronzy, shimmery color. You can see where the strap lays. That's a little more like what it used to look like, but it's got these like dark spots. I don't know if that's because taking it to restaurants and like setting it on the table or whatever, if there was stuff that reacted with it chemically or whatever, but I think it looks really cool. So I just wanted to show that to you guys. So this is what used to be in my old wallet. It was this. I had this insert like this. I had some a business card in here my driver's license and most used debit card was here then i had all my other cards in here and all my cash was in this pocket which is um a personal size zipper majority pouch that i just cut the top off of mm -hmm. and i slid my cash in there then i had this little book with that i kept grocery lists in and th then i had this pocket that i made myself that i kept coupons and other stuff in. So that was my previous setup. This is my new setup. This is a this is a personal size Joe Nelly fish. Um, I believe it's in the mermaid. This is just a little pineapple charm that I got from a sassy box. So this is what it looks like. And if you can see it, it's really pretty. They're painted. And then the inside is just this purple color. So what I have in here, I have one of the personal zipper pockets from Adori. And I just slipped my cash in the front here. Then I have my Michael's Rewards card and a coupon, some cling tags, my tattoo artist's business card. I have the cards for my clients. A stamp. This is a medication I'm allergic to my student ID, which I don't really need anymore because I already graduated, but I like to keep it. This is wellness cards, credit card, blah, 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 driver's license, yada, yada, some other cards. Then I have a Coco Daisy insert. This is the Daisy Dory insert in personal for November. And I'm just going to use this as type of a journal. Um, if you want to see an unboxing of that, I have one up and I'll put the link in the description box below. Then in this zipper pocket, I just have some stuff from that box. Um, some of you are going to be horrified, but I cut the sticker sheets in half so that they would fit in here. So I have the sticker sheets that went with it and some die cuts so that I can use those on the go. I want to have my journal with me at all times this month. Not that I don't normally, but it's a lot easier in the middle of like waiting or something to you already have your wallet with you so you just pull out your wallet and kind of like journal in there or whatever versus dragging out my big a5 then i have a dashboard this is from little magical art her etsy shop she makes fantastic dashboards um this is the other one that i got it's got a little cactuses has polka dots in it super cute um so I might change those out, but I love the teal color um, on this one. This is an insert I made myself. It just has some printer paper in it, but this is the um, Faceless Angel original artwork piece cover that I sell in my Etsy shop, which is also linked in the description box in case you would like one of those. Obviously, I don't sell printer paper inserts, but I do sell this cover as an option for the creative insert. So I'm just going to use this for to-dos and my grocery list and stuff. And yeah, that was my new wallet. I don't know how it's going to work out because I've always had a little wallet kind of like this. 
Um, oh, and I got the Fox Super, like, <laughs> that cap went flying, um, Super Fine Tip Pen from the Coco Daisy box as well, which I'm just going to put in here and find the cap too later. Oh, I found it. <laughs> so anyway, lots of excitement here at, on YouTube today. I do have to say, I'm really glad I film these videos for you guys twice a week because it forces me to clean up my desk twice a week. Um, but yeah. Oh, the other thing I wanted to mention was this, these sleeves that I have. Your Somebody might ask me where I got those. What I did was I ordered, I looked all over for something like that and I couldn't find anything I wanted. So I ordered a business card holder off of Amazon. And this was like $4 or something. And it comes with all of these things. So I ripped off the binding. Then I ripped these off. So like the whole, it comes off in the sheet of two together. But I found that when they were folded like this, they stuck out too far. So what I did was I cut them here like this. And then I just took a piece of packing tape. Let's see, do it where you can see. I took a piece of packing tape and just stuck it on the back here so that it made its own like foldy thing. And then I just stuck it in there without binding it together or anything. And I mean, I haven't functionally used it yet, but so far I think it's working pretty well. Um, I mean, and I could add or take away however many I want. I have this whole big thing of business card holders now, but yeah. So that was, I just wanted to share that with you guys in case you wanted to do that because I looked everywhere for something that was going to hold more cards than just this for the personal size and I couldn't really find anything and if I did find something it was like a fabric one made which are really nice don't get me wrong but they were like $17 and it was like ridiculous um, especially if I don't know if I'm even going to like using this size in my wallet so yeah that's it for today guys thank you so much for sticking around or coming back or visiting if it's your first time I will leave that, um, what was I going to leave below? See, this is why I missed the links, because I already forgot. Oh, the Coco Daisy unboxing, I'll leave that below for you guys. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Take care. Bye-bye.